Are you thinking about replacing your old over-the-range microwave? Today's newer models have stronger fans, more features, and it's a real easy DIY project. And today, we're gonna show you how it's done. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some measurements. The first measurement we're gonna take is our width, uh, 30 inches. 30 inches is a pretty standard width for any over-the-range microwave. Uh, we're also gonna measure the height of our microwave and the depth or projection away from the wall. Uh, then two very important measurements that we need to take are the measurements from the top of our stove top to the bottom of our microwave and also to the bottom of the cabinet above our microwave. So you're going to want to check with your local codes and your manufacturer's instructions on these heights. Typically it's going to be around 30 inches from the top of your stove top to the bottom of the cabinet and around 13 and a half inches from the stove top to the bottom of the microwave. You also want to make sure that if you're installing over a gas range that the microwave you're putting in is rated to go above your gas range. Now that we've got our new microwave, it's time to start removing our old microwave. We're going to start by unplugging the power and taking the screws out of the top of the cabinet. Now's a good time to get an extra set of hands in here to keep some of the weight off of the bottom of the microwave. Uh, these things aren't very heavy, but they can be kind of awkward. You're gonna tilt the top of the microwave away from the cabinet, pulling the cord through at the same time and simply lift it off the bracket and remove it. Now we're gonna remove the old mounting bracket. If your screws just spin in place, that means there's a toggle bolt in there. You're just gonna have to get something behind the head of the screw to give you some leverage. If you're reusing the same type brand of microwave, you might be able to reuse the bracket. Now we're ready to unbox our new microwave. This manufacturer has a specific instructions on how they want you to unpackage it so you don't damage the microwave. You can find all those right here on top of the box. We're going to go and cut the tape along the top here. Open up the flaps and remove all these loose items on top here. You're going to want to hold these flaps down and rotate the box forward. until it's completely upside down. And then you're simply gonna lift the cardboard box off the top. With the front of the unit face down, remove the mounting bracket attached to the back. Next, we're gonna mark our studs and our cabinet opening using a stud finder. And this manufacturer also wants us to mark the center of our opening. So we're going to put a mark at the bottom and at the top. Next, we're going to extend our lines down for one of our studs and our center line. Then we're going to take our paper template that they sent with our microwave. We went ahead and attached a couple pieces of tape to the back to stick it against the wall. Uh, we're going to take our template, line it up with the bottom of our cabinet, put it in place. Also, remember to keep it in line with our center line. And once that's attached, we're going to take our level Put it on the bottom of our template, making sure that it's level. Next, we have our hole marked B and our hole marked C. Now, on these two, we don't have studs behind it, so we're going to use this toggle bolt. On a toggle bolt, you drill a hole in the drywall. This toggle part collapses, goes through the hole, and it springs out once it's inside the wall. Then when you tighten it down, this grips the back of the drywall, keeping everything tight. And we'll use this wood screw that came with our microwave to attach the bracket into one stud right here. For now, I'm just going to mark the holes with a pencil, and I'll also mark the bottom of the template. Now with our holes marked, we're going to remove our template and get ready to drill our holes. First holes we're going to drill are for our toggle bolts using this 5 8 bit. Line them up right with those marks. Now 
And then we're going to switch to our wood bit for our wood screw. All right, next we're going to take and put our upper cabinet template and attach it to the bottom of our upper cabinet, just like we did our wall template. And we're going to take our pencil, just like on our wall template, we're going to mark holes for our cabinet screws. There's two of them here. And there's also another spot where you can mark for a cord to go through, but we're going to use our other hole that was already drilled there from our last microwave. Next, we're going to take down our template and drill some pilot holes where our cabinet screws are going to go. So the reason I drill a pilot hole through the bottom of the cabinet is so I can drill down through with my larger drill bit. This way when I drive the drill bit through, I won't splinter the wood on the inside of the cabinet. Next we're going to mount our toggle bolts through our mounting plate and then twist on the toggle. Do the same through the C. And go ahead and position our mounting bracket. And we're going to push our toggle bolts through the holes we drilled. As it goes through, it'll open up inside the wall and we can tighten them down. And when you tighten them down, you might have to put a little pressure on the back so it grabs and the screw will tighten. Right before we tighten it up all the way, you want to go ahead and make sure we're lined up on our level line and we can tighten it up. And now we'll drive our wood screw into the stud. Now it's time to set up the blower motor on our microwave. Uh, we have our microwave facing face down, so this is our top, this is our back. Our microwave comes set up to exhaust out the top. So if your exhaust is going through your top cabinet, it's already set up for you. You can also set it up to exhaust out the back where you'd have to remove these tabs and rotate the motor. In our case, we don't have a vent to the outside, so we're going to set our microwave back up to recirculate back into the kitchen through a charcoal filter. Now to do this, we're going to remove these two screws on the back of the microwave. and this other one on the top. And you're going to fold this plate down. The motor will just slide out. And you're going to rotate it down like this and it slides right back in. Close the plate up and reinstall the screws. To install the unit, pull the power cord through the hole, lock the oven on the mounting bracket tabs, and tilt the microwave into the space. If you have a recessed cabinet, place wood filler blocks between the microwave and the cabinet bottom to prevent damage to the cabinet when tightening the mounting screws. Now drive the top screws through the holes in the upper cabinet to secure the microwave. Plug it in and remove the packaging. One last thing to do is to test our microwave. Sounds like it's working good. Now, this was a really easy project. It didn't take us very long. Now this kitchen has a microwave with more functions, a stronger fan, and it also looks great. And if you want more great ideas and how-tos, go to lowes.com slash how-to.